Unsolved 1905, the case of 15-year-old Thomas Smith was found gagged and mutilated in the cellar of a derelict house in Manchester. Thomas Smith was found dead in the cellar of an uninhabited house in Oil Street off Fairfield Street in Ancoats, Manchester, by two sand hawkers or rag and bone men at 3 p.m. on the 11th of April 1905. He had been gagged and mutilated. He had a roll of paper in his mouth as a gag that had a red handkerchief tied over it. The piece of paper stuffed into his mouth was a portion of Funny Cats, dated 8th of April 1905. It was thought that he'd been dead for a couple of days. The doctor said that he was found lying on his back with a blood-stained brick on his neck and a gag in his mouth. His clothes were torn and disarranged as though violence had been used and there were obvious injuries to his head, the scalp having been beaten to a pulp. The post-mortem showed that his skull was badly fractured and his body was covered with bruises. The nail from his middle finger on his left hand was torn off and his hand and arm were scratched indicating a very severe struggle. The doctor said that his appearance pointed to him having been outraged but he could not speak with certainty. However, it was reported that the police had said that they were working on the theory that the crime was that of a semi-lunatic. It was also reported that the police had described the murder in a telegram as a Jack the Ripper outrage. The doctor said that he did not think that the wounds could have been caused by the brick and said that they were what he would have expected if a life preserver or a stick with a thick knob had been used. He also said that he didn't think that he'd been murdered in the cellar in Hoyle Street, but somewhere else, and that he'd been dumped there. The police said that the cellar doors, both front and back, were locked, and that a man might have possibly been able to get in and out through the window. His identity was not initially known, and a description of him was released in the hope of identifying him. Fifteen or sixteen years of age, five feet in height, long brown hair, grey eyes, Fresh complexion. Dressed in black vicuna jacket, black vest, dark grey trousers with black stripe, blue and red striped cotton shirt, two odd black stockings and clasped clogs. He had in his possession a second class ticket for the swimming baths, Mayfield Baths, number 7837. He was later identified as Thomas Smith and having lived in Wood Street in Chorlton on Medlock with his mother. It was reported that his mother's grief was pitiful to see. His mother said that she knew of no reason why he might leave home, although it was also reported that he had left home to look for work. She said that he was a very timid lad and would not go to bed alone. She said that on the Tuesday he had gone out and didn't return. The following day two boys came to see her to know if he was going to work and she wrote to his employers to say that he was not well as she didn't want him to lose his place. She said that she thought he would have been coaxed away but didn't know who would do it. At his inquest on Saturday the 6th of May 1905 a verdict of willful murder against some person or persons unknown was returned. Nothing more is known about how Thomas Smith came to be in the cellar and his murder is unlikely ever to be solved.